Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I've got a few questions about, uh, about age in programming and wanting to be a programmer. Uh, I'm just going to answer one of these here, one particular email that I got from Chris. Uh, but, uh, but the advice goes, is the same. You know? so, um, so this uh, email says, uh, hi, I'm 47 and I want to be a programmer. By the way, I've gotten like 60, 67 was I think probably the oldest that, that I've seen. So you're, you still, you got 20 years on, on the, the dude that sent me an email that was 67, Chris. So anyway, um, uh, he says, having a technical, technical background, I think I understand the scope of the work needed to be successful. Here's my real concern. Is there a stigma attached with being new and middle-aged? If so, how can I overcome this? I live in the Seattle area and it seems that nearly everyone I know is working at Microsoft slash Amazon or some other company as a developer. I'm starting at the later stage of life. Most people my age are team leads or senior dev leads with many years of experience. My age and being new seems to be a contradiction. The good news is that I'm able to do nothing but learn about programming until I'm functional. I have the time and the financial means. More importantly, I have a of a dogged determination to succeed. My immediate goal is to learn and become somewhat proficient. Then I want to be able to get some sort of entry level position just to gain experience. Money is not the priority. Your thoughts, any insights uh, is greatly appreciated. Regards, Chris. Uh, P.S. I enjoy your blog videos. Thanks uh, for your, uh, thank you for the time and effort. All right, Chris. So, like I said, I mean, you're not you're not the youngest, but you're not the oldest person who's asked me whether they can be a programmer. I believe it or not, I get uh, emails from someone who's like 27 who says, "Am I too old to be a programmer?" And and the same, like I said, from someone who's 67. Uh, for some reason, people whose ages end in, at seven is a point where you have a you know when you're when the digit of your age ends at the seven, that's the point where you reflect on life and decide whether or not you can be a programmer just seems to be that. But anyway, um, in your particular case, uh, do, I, I don't think there's a huge concern here at all. So I've actually worked with uh, programmers who have switched careers in their 40s and uh, have come in and actually been excellent uh, employees, have, have done excellent work because, and they're in a totally different field. Um, one gentleman in particular I remember was working in the uh, wildlife, like fishing game department and decided to become a programmer. And, and the dude was just phenomenal because he just had, he's, he, had, he had a whole bunch of life experience and, and work ethic. So it's really weird, you know, uh, the, you wouldn't think that that particular experience and, and the things that he had done in life in his previous job had any kind of carryover in, in the software development field. But what he brought with him was a lot of work ethic and, and I think what you described already, this dogged determination to succeed. And so I think that was the critical component there. He was successful, it, you know, being six, I think really in life, if you're successful in one area, you're going to be successful in multiple areas. Uh, and, and I think you see that a lot where someone has success in one area and then they have success in other areas. And so even though they're unrelated fields. So if you've been successful, I think you'll continue to be successful. And I wouldn't, wouldn't be too concerned. Now, obviously, there's a large learning curve. Obviously, you know, coming in as a middle-aged person into software development field, which is full of young people, is going to be a little bit different, but I don't think it's going to put you at a distinct disadvantage. I mean, there, obviously there's going to be a little bit of prejudice and, and bias there. You're going to have to overcome that. But if you're so excellent, if you do such a good job, if you're so dedicated to learning and you do have that dogged determination, like you said, then that's not going to be a problem for you at all because the right company, the right people will realize the, the value that you bring. Um, I don't know if you even need to come in as an entry level uh, developer. I think that, you know, you could you could use this bias to your advantage, which is basically or the stereotype, which is people are going to assume that you're more experienced than you are. So if you if you're devoting your time to learning, you said you don't have any time pressure. You've it sounds like you've got some kind of amount of financial independence, and you can just you know 
uh, spend your time learning as, as you see fit, uh, you could probably come in and, and jump right over to a medium or, or high level position as a developer after you've learned on your own, even without a lot of experience, just because you're, you're gonna have other experience. That might not be the case. I mean, maybe you'll have to come in as an entry level position, but if you do start as an entry level position, you're not gonna stay there very long. Uh, I, I can tell you that. You know, A lot of people will be afraid that they're gonna be age discriminated against, and I'm not going to say that that never happens and that you're not going to have to face that. I mean, we're all going to get discriminated for some reason or, or another, but a lot of people uh, let that stop them and they, they say, oh, well, I'm too old and, and they make excuses for themselves. And I don't, I don't like to hear that. <laughs> I, I, I prefer that, you know, you, you just try as hard as you can and, 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 you know, and it's not a perfect uh, mediocrity, right? We, we don't, uh, or metro, I, never mind. I, I, <laughs> is it mediocrity? No, it's, uh, I, I don't know what the word is, but anyway. Uh, it, it's not it's not a perfectly fair level based on skill, right? Uh, it, it's it's based on stereotypes and biases and stuff. But if you become so good that uh, that you overcome that, then 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 you're gonna have success regardless. It's it's hard to hold someone down regardless of what they look like or what their background is or how old they are if they have that. Uh, I'll keep using that word that you said that dog of determination. So if you've got it you're gonna succeed no matter what. I have faith in you, uh, you know, have faith in yourself. Uh, and thanks for, for the email. If, uh, if you'd like me to answer a question for you, just email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And uh, if, you, if you like this video, subscribe.